the vascular diseases of kidney. For nephrosclerosis, basically it's arteriosclerosis. There are two types of nephrosclerosis. One is a benign nephrosclerosis and malignant nephrosclerosis. The benign nephrosclerosis is also known as hyaline arteriosclerosis. The malignant nephrosclerosis we are also known as fibrinoid necrosis. So benign nephrosclerosis is common. Most of the time, if you do a post-mortem, you will see some sclerosis of the arterioles of the kidney. That's due to the aging process. What happened? There is the arterioles or small arteries. There is the thickening of intima and media. That is because of when there's aging, you get a lot of uh, people develop hypertension. So hemodynamic change, too much of pressure in the vessels. So they develop uh, hyperplasia and hypertrophy. And also they develop some hyaline deposition in the vascular media because of the pressure, some protein leaks into the media and they develop hyaline deposition. That's why it's also known as hyaline arteriosclerosis. So it's a normal phenomena if you're aging. Having said that, the hypertension can increase the, the incidence of this. Why is it important? When there's a hypertrophy of media and intima, the lumen get narrowed, the blood supply get maybe reduced to the renal parenchyma, so they can develop focal ischemia. So here you can see, is the cross section of the arteriol. Their intima is thickened and media is thickened. And you will see a pink color hyaline, a lot of hyaline in the media and the lumen is narrowed. So the real picture, you can see the lumen is narrowed and a lot of hyaline uh, and thickened media and intima. That's a hyaline arteriosclerosis. The other one is malignant nephrosclerosis. You were studying in medicine and you are studying about hypertension, a malignant hypertension. So the blood pressure is more than 200 systole and more than 120 diastole. It's known as malignant hypertension. Why we are worried about this? This high pressure can damage the endogens. Endogens are kidney, brain, and heart. So they can develop heart failure, renal failure, encephalopathy, and patient can develop low GCS and fits, and also can damage the eye. So when they have a high blood pressure like this, that cause necrosis of vascular media. So what kind of necrosis they develop is fibrinoid necrosis. And also the lumen get thrombus, thrombosis of the lumen. So obviously the lumen is occluded by the thrombus. So here you can see fibrinoid necrosis of media and there's a thrombus in the lumen. So again, you can see the kidney is the glomerulus and the arterial, there is a necrosis of the media and some clot formations. And sometimes they develop kind of onion peel appearance kind of things that can be seen in a malignant arteriosclerosis. But in real life, a urologist point of view, we see a lot of renal artery stenosis, like unilateral renal artery stenosis. So how the patient come in, go, first goes to the physician with a blood pressure, high blood pressure, they give all the medication, amlodipine, nephidipine, everything, AC inhibitors, everything, but blood pressure is not controlled. Then they do ultrasound scan. Then they see one kidney is small. Then they, when they do a further study, they will find out there is a narrowing of the renal artery. Why you have diagnosed this? If you manage the renal artery stenosis, they will improve. So it's a surgically curable cause of hypertension. Usually, I personally don't like medicine, medical field. I selected surgery because in medicine, most of the condition you can't you can't cure them. Diabetes, you can't cure them. Hypertension, you can't cure. COPD, asthma, heart failures, whatever you said, we can't cure. Having said that, medicine is very important because we we are depending on them, physician. And not, there are a lot of acute conditions you can cure, like any any fever, infection, you can cure. This is only one situation in hypertension. You can cure the hypertension if you treat the arterial stenosis. The point of renal artery stenosis is a atheromatous plaque, like heart heart problem. You no, know, it's same thing, seventy percent of the time. But there's another pathology it can happen in young females around twenties and thirties. They come with the hypertension. I have seen. 
two, three females coming with hypertension. When I was working in vascular unit, they came with the diagnosis of fibromuscular dysplasia, FDP, fibro, F, FMD, fibromuscular dysplasia. Where are the, the smooth muscles, dysplasia in the media, and again, they develop narrowing. Why we had normal arterial stenosis? What happened when there's a reduced blood supply? Suppose we take left kidney renal artery stenosis. What happened? Left kidney gets less blood supply. So that stimulates the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Then that stimulate that's release the renin. Then renin angiotensin aldosterone axis will be activated. If angiotensin 2 increase, that's caused vasoconstriction, that causes hypertension. And also the body release aldosterone water retention, sodium retention, that aggravate the hypertension. So if you measure the renin level and the blood coming from the left renal vein, in case of left renal artery stenosis, the renin level will be high. After you have studied in the physiology, if there's a renal artery stenosis, renin increase, angiotensin increase, angiotensin goes based on constriction. Also angiotensin stimulate the renal cortex, and from a zona glomerulosa, you know that there are three layers. From zona glomerulosa, aldosterone secreted, aldosterone action, the collecting duct, and increase the water and sodium absorption. So you ultimately give rise to hypertension. The two common causes of the commonest cause is the adrenomatous plaque. The second common cause is the fibromuscular dysplasia. Where are the abnormality in smooth muscle and collagen. So they develop stenosis with the beaded appearance, beaded appearance, and young female coming with hypertension, so fibromuscular dysplasia. Basically, young woman coming with hypertension. If you do an angiogram, this is the iota, and uh, this is a, a renal artery. This the left side renal artery is normal. The left kidney also normal. But right renal artery, there is a narrowing due to that, must be due to the adrenomatous plaque. And you can see the right kidney is in size is smaller than the left kidney. So, but easily we can put a stent here that will improve the blood pressure and also improve the kidney function. So, we can easily correct the renal artery stenosis. Fibromuscular dysplasia, you can see media, a lot of smooth muscle hyperplasia uh, and dysplasia. So, then Lumen get narrowed. So that's the end of vascular disease of the kidney. Two conditions we discussed. One is arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis can be a benign arteriosclerosis, a malignant arteriosclerosis. Another problem is a renal artery stenosis. It can be due to atheromatous plaque. It can be fibromuscular dysplasia. There is common in young 